In the previous video, we showed the basics of graphical input. We will now build on that to create the model that you see on the screen. Let's start by choosing a set of units to work with. In this case, we will use standard metric units. However, note that space gas is just as comfortable working with imperial units or any set of custom mixed units. We will begin by showing the global origin clicking the Draw Members button, and then typing in the coordinates of the first few nodes. Next, we want to convert the rafter to a curve, and so we'll exit from the Draw tool by pressing the keyboard Escape key or right mouse button twice, and then select the rafter, click the right mouse button, and choose the Generate Arc tool. At this point, you can see from the red prompt at the bottom left corner of the window that Space Gas needs to know which is the concave side of the rafter. If you are ever unsure of what Space Gas wants you to do next, the red prompt will always give you a clue. In this case, we can just click any point that lies below the rafter, and then specify the number of intermediate nodes around the arc and its radius. At this stage, we will press the right arrow key on the keyboard to center the model and scale it to fill the screen. Next, we will draw the central column by reselecting the Draw Members tool, typing in the coordinates of the bottom of the column, changing the attach setting to orthogonal, and then attaching to the rafter at the top. To disconnect from the member just drawn, we can press the keyboard escape key or right mouse button, and then continue drawing at a different location. For the Lean To column on the right-hand side, we will start by typing in the coordinates of the bottom. And then at the top, we could use absolute or relative coordinates. Let's choose relative coordinates by typing the at symbol and then entering the coordinates relative to the bottom of the column. Next, we will change the attach setting back to middle end. Attach the lean to rafter to the central column and then exit from the Draw tool by clicking the right mouse button twice. Note that you can't type in the coordinates of this last point, otherwise the lean-to rafter won't attach to the central column. Because of the attach setting, the lean-to rafter has attached to the exact midpoint of the column. However, this isn't exactly where we want it, and so we can move it into place by double-clicking on the node at the intersection point and changing the Y coordinate to the desired value. Finally, we can check that the members are properly connected to each other by clicking on any node and then choosing the Check Connectivity tool. This highlights the members that are connected to that node and makes it immediately obvious if any of them aren't connected properly. We can then click on any other node or member to see what it is connected to. This completes the main structural geometry. In the next video, we will apply support conditions, adjust the connections between members, and then specify the section and material properties.